think we should harvest our peanuts. Let's check out what we have in here. Peanuts! I think it might be a little too late to harvest the peanuts. Some of them have already sprouted. Oops. But that's a bunch of nice peanuts. Hopefully. Let's see. One more kind over here. Look at all those nice peanuts. So, this was kind of an experiment. This is a first year garden bed here. It was a raised bed that I had made, but I think I planted too many peanuts in the raised bed because they were not able to flop over. And the way peanut works is it flowers and then it drops down its little flower blossom into the dirt and that makes the peanuts. I'll show you. You sitting over there being so cute? Are you done gardening this morning? Probably so. Anyway, so, let me see. I'm gonna find it. Okay, so here is, there was a flower on here, and this little thing was supposed to go down in the dirt off the branch, and it was gonna make the peanut. But, because these couldn't get to the dirt, they couldn't make the peanut. So, yeah, not all of them worked very well. And then I did get some peanuts. And hopefully there's actual peanuts inside these little shells, and I'll cure them and all that. You leave them on the bush for like two weeks, I think. And then you take them off the bush and continue to let them dry. So it's a learning experiment. I was doing these in kind of a no-till dig experiment, um, which is what my garden is anyway. So just compost and um, mulch. That's all I had for what I planted them in. I planted them in May, mid-May, and it's end of, well, actually it's beginning of October now. So. They've been in there long enough, 130 to 150 days, I think it is. Are you waiting on my little peanuts? The bushes are really big looking. They were nice and lush looking, which is great. Papa. We're gonna take these up to the house. We got a load of that bush. It's got so many on it. Are you counting them? Yes. What are you up to? 27? 27 off that one bush? Wow. Yeah. Third. Out of ten. How many did you get? 46 out of one plant. That's a lot. Maybe you might have enough to make some peanut butter? Yuck peanut butter. Not yuck peanut butter. Oh. Remember I didn't like that peanut butter you made, Mama? Well, we'll put stuff in it to make it taste yum. Okay. How about our school peanut butter? We are finally getting on the crack and open our peanuts. We've gotten that much so far. Just quite a good bit. It's pretty fun putting them up and seeing the treasures that are inside. This is like months later. Because, you know, we've been busy. But we're going to roast them up and enjoy them. It's kind of hard to do one handed. What? It's hard to do one-handed. Look at those little nuts. So, these raw peanuts remind me of the peanuts you use for peanut brittle. Not that I'm making peanut brittle, but we're gonna roast these, chuck them in the oven on a tray. Ooh, that's hot right there. Anyway, and then we'll put some salt on them. Then we'll munch them. What do you think? Are they hot? Are they cold? Do you like holding them? Mm, this so, this would mine. probably be enough for this a batch of peanut brittle, but we are not making peanut brittle. So, I have my roasted peanuts here. I tried putting salt on them at the end, and it did not stick, which is kind of what I thought I was going to do. So, I'm not really sure how to get them to stick. Anyway, I'm going to take maybe half of these, and I'm going to try to make some peanut butter. I'm just putting them in my Vitamix and grinding them up. So, I had to add some olive oil to make it kind of be... Peanut butter. I think I didn't have enough in my blender or something because it wouldn't grind very well. Anyway, I'm going to try putting this in some dates and see how that tastes. That is a yummy little treat. I probably put a little too much peanut butter in there, but it's really good. I've tried it with like regular peanut butter before, but it almost makes it too sweet because that peanut butter has sugar in it and this doesn't. And so it's like almost way too sweet. So I'm also going to try <laughs> stuffing it with stuffing the date with some peanut butter and dipping it in chocolate. And then I'm going to try also just peanuts inside the date dipped in chocolate. 
Kind of like a Snickers bar thing. Mmm, that looks yummy. So, the date consensus was, at least for me, the chocolate kind of made them too sweet. The date and just the peanut butter or the nuts tastes really good. But with the chocolate added on to it, it is pretty sweet. So, I'll probably just enjoy those dates with the peanut butter and not the chocolate. But it was a good try. I'm glad I tried it. Um, and yeah, I need to use up my dates because I have a whole bunch left over. And yeah, I mean, not that they're getting bad, but I need to use them up. Clean out my fridge. <laughs> so anyway, that is the end of our peanut adventure of growing peanuts this year. It's pretty fun. I love growing things that you can't see underneath the ground. Because then you don't really know what kind of harvest you're going to get until you harvest them. So that was really fun. It was not as big of a harvest as I thought I was going to get, but it was pretty decent and it's okay. We can always try for more next year. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Have you ever grown peanuts? If you did, what did you do with them? How did, have you ever made peanut butter? Because mine did not turn out how I thought it was going to, but maybe I didn't grind it long enough or have enough in there to make it work. Anyway, see you next time.